All right, let's get this ditch seated. So here's Richard. Uh, he kind of been helping me quite a bit lately and uh, does a really good job getting everything leveled out. We had some spots there where the tiller had uh, made some grooves in it. We were uh, getting those leveled out and went ahead and kind of graded everything so that water will run down through the area, getting all the grass and all the excess pulled out. Kind of fading it close to the road there so it will kind of blend in with the road. Really excited to see this come in. So now let's go ahead and put uh, put about two, about ten pounds of seed down, maybe a little less. I uh, made just about two passes there, got that all done. Then we bring my foiler with a roller and roll it down. several passes over this I kind of wanted to make it into a swell so we kind of forced it to it's kind of hard I know to see here on video but we did make everything kind of swell and then if we have to we can come in and roll it again at a later date I know the ground isn't very wet or soft all right now we're gonna go ahead and put some raw down that also helps keep moisture warmth and also just kind of helps the seed germinate a little better protects it uh, now putting seed down in the fall, you can put it down as long as their temperatures are staying you know, warm, the ground temperature is staying warm. Yeah, we've had some cool nights, but ground temperature is still probably, probably in the 60s, maybe 70 degrees. So it's gonna germinate. What doesn't germinate, we could also come back in the fall, late fall, go ahead and broadcast some more seed on it, let it sit, let the thaw and the freeze of the winter work its you know magic and then the seed will get into the ground and you'll have extra come up next year so yeah and again we rolled over the straw to help push the straw down into the seed and that made it a lot better that's where the, all the brush caused the grass to die we've got rain coming in tomorrow so perfect time to seed uh, all that get that done and i believe we are done for this year uh, next year we're going to be Again, tilling up the garden for them, probably seeding some other spots that didn't come in this year. Um, it looks it looks phenomenal. It really does look good. Uh, I'll give you an update probably here mid-November to let you know how this is doing. We uh, we tilled it up, we graded it, we seeded it, we rolled it, we strawed it, and we rolled it again. That's how I roll. So it looks pretty good. I'll show you up here how. This all looks really good here. Looks really, really good. Of course, I did, uh, I've only mowed this. I believe I'll probably come in one more time and mow, kind of knock the stragglers down after we have a good, good hard freeze. I uh, went ahead and put some more seed in here. This wasn't really doing a whole lot. And uh, after it rains again, I may, may come and roll it again, but we've rolled it again. It's been watered. It's doing good here on the edges. Not so much right there. I may, if it doesn't do any good by spring, I may have to come in, dig all that out, put some fresh dirt in there, and then reseed it. So it might just be because of that tree. But there was a tree over here too at one point, and it did just fine. So I don't know what the deal is here, but this this area did just fine. Not a lick of trouble. It's nice and green and thick. We are going to put a flagpole in here for them either this fall or in the thanks for or watching. Something. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure that uh, you know if you want to see more. Of this content you go hit that subscribe button uh, tell your friends there's awesome content coming we're going to be getting stuff ready for snow plow season soon uh, we've got temperatures going into the teens next week uh, so cool temperatures are here and uh, I'm kind of excited because you know I love winter so again thanks for watching don't forget to like, like comment, comment comment and subscribe, subscribe.